to suggest well, you don't remember other day when you left I knew my organizer started making noise and you threw out of the window. Yes. How can I forget? Well, um, could you believe that you actually hit somebody in the head? Right in the head. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> What is the noise? Oh, oh that's not it. Um, and anyway. Beep, 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 Oh, Sergey, the delay is too much, Sergey. Sergey. What's going on, huh? <laughs> okay, Sergey, I'm gonna Sergey, I'm gonna ask you to reconnect if you can because oh, no. the, the delay the delay is about yes, over ten I, I seconds. Know. Yeah. So yeah, I'm mind yes. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Let me let me have uh, Miguel. Miguel take over Testikov, please, and we'll continue right at what's going on. Not not bad, yeah. Okay, you want me to sound r r Russian? Yes, try the Russian accent, please. Okay, what is uh, what is going on, huh? That noise. <laughs> no, no, that is my fault. That noise. <laughs> no, get off my fault. Ah, it's a recorder. <laughs> That's rather. <laughs> you were as high on me. Ah, great job. Very good. Very good, Yuri Testikov. Yes, there's clapping. Let me go back to Zulma. Zulma, when we were in the limo. <laughs> uh, we were in. Uh, we were in the limo. Yeah, let's try it again. In the limo. When we were in the limo. When we were in the limo. When we were in the... When we were in... Okay, it's not too bad. It might be a microphone connection. I'm not hearing your R, though. So let's try this. these three words. We're in the... We're in the... We're in the... Good, good. When we were in the limo. When we were in the limo. That sounds much better. You threw it out the window. You threw it out the window. Very good. Get that TH though. Through, through. Through. That sounds good. You threw it out the window. You threw word out the window. Excellent job. Very good. Very good, Zulma. And let me go down. Uh, Zulma, I want you to be more angry on this one. Get off my purse. <laughs> Get off my purse. There you go. There you go. And this one, the American pronunciation, radio. Radio. No, a radio. 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 Perfect. Do you listen to the radio in Australia? Yes. Oh, what's your favorite station? Um, <laughs> the name is Mitch 141. Miss 141. Yes. <laughs> what kind of music do they play? Uh, pop music. Pop music. 
Yes. Very good. Uh, you guys can see my, my house is a disaster. See all the boxes behind me. <laughs> but it looks very big, your room. Oh, it's not. It's actually quite small. You can hear the echo, echo, echo. <laughs> okay, that was really good. Let me continue here. Uh, let's go. Uh, who am I missing the most here? Let me have uh, MJ be the crowd and uh, Alberto be Diane, please. Come on, set the well. You gotta do it. Say the name, George, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Alberto, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> wow, beautiful. That was beautiful. creepy, man. That was beautiful. <laughs> Alberto, you have such a lovely voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. Oh, we got one. Now, the next, uh -huh. the next scene is very long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this. So for this page, I want uh, Fabio to be George. And for the next page, I want Height to be George. And we'll have, uh, for the whole thing, Barbara be Elaine and Miguel be Kramer. And that should be it. Yes, we'll do that. So we'll start off with uh, Fabio, please. Who has started to walk into the water? I want to lie to you, boys. I was terrified. But I pressed on, and as I made my way past the breakers, a strange calm came over me. I don't know if really it was divine intervention or the kinship of all living things, but I tell you, Jack, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. <laughs> George, I've just been reading the thing in the paper. It's unbelievable. I know, I was just telling them the story. Is me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Come actually, on, yes. George, finish the story. Okay. Uh, it's me, Shay. No, hi, you're on the next page. We're still with Fabio. The sea was angry that day, my friends, like an old man trying to send back soup in a valley. I got about 50 feet out, and suddenly the great beast appeared before me. I tell you, he was 10 stories high if he was a foot. As if since in my presence, he let out a great bellow. I said, He's a big fella. And then, as I watched him struggling, I realized that something was obstructing its breath. From where I was standing, I could see directly in the eye of the great fish. Man, whatever. Well then, <clears throat> well then, what did you do then? Well then, from out of nowhere, a huge tidal wave they lifted me, tossed me like a cork, and I found myself right on top of him, face to face with the blow hole. I could barely see from the waves crashing down, up in, sorry, I could barely see from the waves crashing down upon me, upon me, but I knew something was there. So I reached my hand in, felt around, and pulled out the obstruction. What is that, Tyler? A hole in one, huh? <laughs> Excellent job, great job. Now we switch, uh, once again, Jerry is, uh, who's Jerry? We'll give it to Min. Min, you're Jerry. Min is Jerry. 
Hi is George. Yes. Uh, Barbara, you stick with Elaine. And uh, Miguel, you stick with Kramer. Well, the crowd was gone wild. Oh, yes, 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 Jerry. They were all over me. It was like rocky eye. Dan came up to me, threw her arms around me, kissed me. We both had tears streamed down our face. I never saw anyone so beautiful. It was at that moment that I decided to tell her that I was not a marine biologist. Wow, what she said? Say. Told me to go to hell, and I took the bus home. <laughs> all right, let's go. Why are you in a bad mood? Uh, I got my laundry back. Oh, golden boy. He didn't make it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a golden boy's son, Baby Blue. What's with you? Sand is everywhere. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, very good, you guys. Uh, you will not get an Emmy Award or an Oscar Award, but it was pretty darn good. <laughs> now, first off, I want to say, especially to Fabio and Hi, your pauses were very good in George's dialogue. When George was speaking and telling his story, you guys, your flow was very good. It could have been faster, but that's okay. Um, you you paused at the correct space. That was re really good. Great job. Uh, I do want to hit Fabio here. Can you read this again, please? Now remember, in America, we don't say on. It's more of an on. But I pressed on. But I pressed on. Very good. Excellent job. And this one, Fabio. Realize that something was obstructing its breath. Okay, obstructing its breathing. Obstructing its breathing. Obstructing its breathing. Very good, very good. So we can say a breath is a breath and is to breathe. Okay, so breath, there's no E, and breathe, there is an E. So with an ing, it makes it a verb, so breathing, okay? And this one too, Fabio. Right on top of me. That's right, it's the on, that's right. Right on top of him. And we can cancel the H here. Right on top of him. Right on top of him. Excellent job, very good. Everything else was really good. Let me go to height. Yes. I how do you read this? Uh, Rocky one. That's right. That right. It it was like Rocky one. It was like Rocky one. Can I, and the next section, I want this very emotional. Hi, try it again. Uh, Diane came up to me, threw her arms around me, kissed me. Not too bad. One more time. Diane came up to me. Diane came up to me, threw her arms around me, threw her arms around me, kiss me, kiss me. <laughs> very good, very good. And hi, you did a great job here. Told me to go to hell and I took the bus home. That was perfect. <laughs> and Kramer's line, intonation. Miguel. Can you hear me well, Shane? I can now, yes. Okay. Uh, I don't remember the intonation, to be honest. Well, well, George, I'm George, you're Kramer. Yeah. What's with you? 
No, no, no. What's with you? With you. What's with you? Yeah, we can say two things. What's with you or what's with you? Okay. What's with you? Try it again. What's with you? There, I liked it. Yeah. What's with you? Okay, okay, okay. What, what's with you? Very good, very good, very good. Okay, so that was a long uh, couple of pages here. Five pages. Uh, questions on anything Seinfeld. There must be questions. Uh, I have three questions, Shane. Excellent, Min Jung, hit me. <laughs> uh, first of all, um, the sentence when uh, uh, you threw it out the door, out the window. Yes. Uh, this is what Testikov said. Yep. Um, here, how do you pronounce um, the out the window? Can, when you speak fast, out of window or just out the window? I don't know how to pronounce exactly when you speak fast. Yeah, keep the TH. Uh, so let me read the whole thing here. Do you remember the other day when we were in the limo and uh, my organizer started making noise and you threw it out the window and you threw it out the window and you threw it out the, out the window, out the window? Can you try it? You threw you threw it you threw you threw it out the window. I like Perfect. This. That sounds good. Out the window. Out the window. Out, out the window. window. Okay. Out the window. Very good. Keep that th. Keep it. Okay. And second one is it's about the beach. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Who said uh, it? You know, it's it's um it's. I have to check. Is it this one? There's a beached whale. She's dying. Uh no, it's breathing. It's breathing. Something. It's breathing. Ah yeah, that was Fabio's line. Mm. Uh. So here it. It means the beast whale, right? Yeah, I realized that something was obstructing its breathing. Yeah, but I thought uh, before it say him or ah yeah yeah. Him. What this is actually this is a great point. Let's go mm -hmm. back further, Min Jung. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go here. Now, everybody, I want you to pay attention here. Uh, the woman says there's a beached whale. She's dying. Who's she? Beach whale. The beached whale. And now, uh, as I watched him struggling, who's him? The beach whale. whale. And obstructing its breathing. Who's it? Beach the whale. beach whale. Exactly. So how can that be? How can that be? Yeah, because uh, he, uh, he says he is like an emotional way you see the, the animal. And uh, the way you are not speaking has to be it. Okay, uh, Alberto, the, the sound quality was not clear. Try it one more time, please. Uh, he says him. Is because it's the emotional way to, to see the animal. But then, okay, that, no, that's a good point. So, so uh, he's, okay, but let me explain something. When it comes to animals, uh, the perfect pronoun is it. But sometimes we don't know if it's a female or a, or a male, so we say it. That's the perfect pronoun, okay? Even if we know it's a male or a female, we can still say it. But sometimes, even though we don't know if it's a male or a female, we sometimes say she, and we sometimes say he. Can you guess what situation would you say she, naturally? What situation would you say he, naturally? Can anybody guess? No. 
Yes, I, I, I'm guessing I, I, she I, is when you want to be cute. Let, let's go, Al Alberto, go ahead go first. Yeah. I believe if you don't have a dog, you love your dog or your kid, you have a cat. If you love your cat and you have some mail, uh, you, know, you have a kind of a relationship with your cat, you call him him or he. Okay, so, so, okay, so your microphone, the, quali the quality is not that good, but what I understand is if you have a relationship, for example, with your cat, you would call him a he. Yes, but if you see any cat on uh, the street or something, you just say it. You say it. Okay. Well, here's, here's kind of the American idea. Um, if we see an animal that is very cute, is very lovely, maybe it's a baby and we want to care for it, almost always we say she. If we see an animal that looks really tough and very scary, maybe very mean, we almost always say he. Okay? So, let's go back, let's go back, and the woman said, um, she's dying. So why did she say she? Because she wants to care for it. Oh, it's so sad. It's so pitiful. I want to care for it. So she is the natural pronoun. Do you understand? And now let's go down to George where he says him. I watched him struggling. Why does he say him? Because it's the big fella. It's the big giant, okay? And a woman isn't big or giant. A man is big and giant. So it becomes a him. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is what Americans will do with animals. And we do it with cars, too. So, for example, if I have a, a truck... You know, a mountain, four-wheel drive, mountain driving truck. Is it a he or a she? He. It's a he. Yeah, it most likely is a he. If I have a red, fast sports car, really beautiful and shiny, is it a he or a she? She is a beautiful. That's right, that's right. Now... Some guys will call their truck a she, and some guys will call their sports car a he. And the reason is, if a guy calls his truck a she, he loves it. He cares for it. He's very careful. It's very clean. If a guy calls his sports car a he, he's only thinking about the engine, vroom, vroom, the speed and the power. So there is a difference in your perspective. But that's how we use he and she with non-humans. Got it? Mm -hmm. Great question. Very good question. Question number three. I forgot. Good. I was too concentrated on your explanation. <laughs> my, my answers are so good I destroy questions. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Anybody else? I I just I just wonder because uh, George said he he found a title list that is abstract uh, uh, will reason. That's right. But I I guess the will knows is much more bigger than title list. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I I don't know, but uh, I guess perhaps a titleless golf ball is big enough to obstruct some whale's breathing. <laughs> okay. Maybe it was a baby whale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he does say it was a uh, ten stories high. Ten stories. Oh, he. Yeah. He, he, he's still lying, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so do you guys remember what was so funny? Was Kramer, was he, did he do a good job golfing? 
No, he did a terrible job. Only one ball went way out there. And which ball, where did it go? Hole in one into the whale's breathing hole, the blow hole. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, you guys are too nice. I have one more. Can I ask? You remembered. Um, Testikov test said uh, latest manuscript without the, but normally do you uh, do you have to add the or not here? Because I thought it must be the latest uh, manuscript. Yeah, hold on a second. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, if you look at many of uh, Testikoff's sentences, the grammar is terrible. Okay? Um, yep, and that's the case here. Uh, in this situation, if, if it were me speaking, uh, two minutes, I would say, I'll, oops, I'll give you my but. latest uh, manuscript. That's what would be natural for me. So yes, the is fine, but most likely in this situation, I'll and my would be uh, natural for native English speakers. But great job. If you, if you caught that, great job. My would be better because it's his, but the is also possible. But well, if it's a uh, formal writing, it's my is better or the is better for formal writing? Mm, I'll give you the main well, if, if you wrote it all by yourself and the company name yeah. is not important, my. Mm -hmm. If the company name is important and if there was a team, the. Okay? Uh, so, actually, here's a, here's a good situation. Fabio. Uh, okay. Fabio, you have a, an article that you're writing for an English uh, medical journal, right? Yeah. Do you say my story or the story? Is it by you? is it by you or is it for your hospital? It's mine. Okay, so you did all the research and you are submitting it with your name. Yeah. It's, it's. There you go. So in that case, uh, Fabio, he can submit my article. Now, if Fabio's hospital asked him to write an article and submit it, then Fabio might say the article. Okay? You, Min Jung, you work for a company, so when you submit a proposal, you don't say my proposal, you say the proposal. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Good question. Next question. You know, I'm always struggling um, to write informal letter or formal, you know? Articles ah, oh, too difficult for foreigners. It's not From easy. Here, everybody want me to be like native person, so I'm so stressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're doing great. Keep going. You'll be fine. Be strong. Be strong. Yeah, but the problem is no, no one can check my letters or my proposals. So ah, uh, I'm it's just killing me. This is the best training. <laughs> they, they call this training, they call this type of training baptism by fire. I don't know if you guys understand it. Yeah. Baptism by fire. You can use your dictionaries to find out baptism by fire. <laughs> More questions? Yeah. I guess that the idea is that something takes you to the to your limit. Yeah, it takes you to the next level immediately, brings you to your limit, and either kills you or takes you to the next level. Or yeah, or you go through your threshold. Yes, yeah, it forces you through your threshold, through your limit. Yeah, That's right.
Miguel, you are you are coaching other students for DDM Open. Is that baptism by fire? A little bit. Uh, actually, the 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 previews thing that I do before is a kind of a baptism by fire. There you go. That's right. It's great. Yeah, it, it is great. You learn to like it. Oh yeah. Next question. Alberto, where are you? Home. Oh, you're at home, and your wife's at home. You're on different computers. Yes. <laughs> yes, different computers. Why don't you share the same computer? Because she's going to hit me. <laughs> now, see, now, now, let me, wait a second. Fabio and Barbara, you guys are sharing the same computer, right? Yes. Yes. You guys are not married and in love. <laughs> and Zulma and Alberto are married and they love each other, but if they share the same computer, she's going to hit Alberto. <laughs> yeah, if you get married, you guys spend 10 years each other. You're not going to share computers in the DDM 2024. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, so Fabio and Barbara, if you want to continue studying DDM on the same computer, you must never get married. Just stay boyfriend and girlfriend. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. Oh, it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> yeah, well, Fabio, as a clinic, uh, as a as a clinical psychiatrist, you know my advice means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any okay. other any other questions? Last chance. Go ahead. The real reason is that, you know the enemy here is so bad. And she is using one network and uh, using a different network because if, if we try to to get the same network or even the same computer, when we talk, it, it will be impossible for you guys to understand what we are talking about. It sounds good now, uh, Alberto. I don't know what you're doing, but the other network seems to be working now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's great. I really like having families. We have a couple of families, uh, and I really enjoy it. It's really nice. Okay, we're going to go to DDM90. Since you guys are so nice, I have to find it here. Hold on a second. DDM90. DDM90 full. There we go. Okay, DDM90 was uh, about the Olympics. And I'm going to reformat this quick. Hold on a second. And remember, as we study this, if you guys have any questions, uh, just write it down. And uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to answer it right away for you. Get everything unformatted. And there we go. I'll take out the pictures. And uh, we will go line by line or section by section, rather. And I think we're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to go back. We're going to go backwards in order this time. So I'm going to have uh, Zulma read the first section here, all the way the first two. And then I'm going to have Min Jung read the second section. And then Miguel read these two. And uh, height gets these two. Oh, we're finished already. And then I'll have Alberto read something else. Uh, this will be uh, Fabio, and this will be Barbara, and uh, Alberto. I'll get Alberto to read something else that's longer. All right. So let's go ahead and, and start it off with uh, Minjung, please. Oh, I'm sorry, Zulma. Zulma. Okay. Female athletes will finally take off in Sochi. 
I'm going to represent my country in sky jumping. And I am excited, but I think for me, it's finally sinking opening ceremonies. Very good. It's the, the audio is cutting out. That's why I'm making so much red. It was really good. Uh, let's move on to Minjo. Mm -hmm. Unlike the other Olymp uh, Olympians who may have only had to worry about training, the Asian women had to fight just to be allowed to comp compete, setting a lack of participants and a controversial notion that the female body wasn't strong enough for ski jumping. The International Olympic Committee wouldn't allow women to compete, but after years of campaigning, including a battle in court, female jumpers will be at the Olympics. Good job. Vaikudin. Yeah, okay. I'm privileged to be a part of it and excited that we've risen to the occasion. And being able to compete in Sochi is amazing. Also, new at the games. Oh, that's okay. Also, new at the games, men's and women's slope style. Skiers and snowboarders perform tricks as they slide and flip over up obstacles, hoping to impress the judges. Great job. Next two, hi. Okay. I think there's going to be a lot of news. Uh, young riders coming into the industry, especially with the Olympics now being an event. And as a new Olympic sports gives the skiers a chance to venture where only snowboarders went before. The half five. Fabio. When I start going for full time, was kind of giving that Olympic remark. Sorry, there is, I, I began again because there was a problem in my computer. Okay, okay. When I started really free skiing full time, I was kind of giving that Olympic remark. Like, you know, I like this sport enough that I'm okay with not going to the Olympics for it. So, to be part of the first wave of athletes getting in, and that whole thing full cycle is amazing. Great job, Barbara. Of the new team sports include the figure skating team event, a mixed lunch relay race and a biathlon mixed relay. 98 medals will be awarded in such the most in winter Olympics history. Very good, very good. <laughs> Let me go back to uh, Alberto. Alberto, can you hear me? Yes. Alberto, I want you to read everybody's mistakes, but I want you to read them perfectly. So let's start at the top. Once again. Good. It is finally. Do the whole thing. I finally thinking probably when I walk into the opening ceremonies. Good job. These women have to fight just to be able to compete. Very good. That's I'm gonna underline that one though. Okay. This one word. Committee. Very good. The International Olympic Committee. Good. The next one here. Also, new at the game, men and women slope style. Very good. These two. The industry. I'm going to underline it. This group. Especially with the Olympic now being an event. Very good. This one. Another new Olympic sport. Very good. And this one. 
Full circle. Good. Uh, this group. Okay, we got some really bad odd. There we go. Sounds better. Uh, try it again, uh, Alberto. Mixed relay race. Okay, and the last group here. Mixed relay. Okay. Relay. Sounds better. Good job. Now, uh, good job, Alberto. Let me go back to the original person who read these two. Uh, so this is Zulma. Zulma, let's try it again. Female athletes. Zulma, tell your husband to get off the internet. He's killing your connection. <laughs> Try again. Female athletes. Okay, it sounds better. Sounds better. It'll finally sink in. Yeah, the uh, internet connection down under is not that good. It'll finally sink in. Zulma. It has finally sink in. Okay, that sounds good. When I walk into the opening ceremony. When I walk in into the opening ceremony. Very good. Ceremonies. Ceremonies. Try again with the R. Be careful with the R. Ceremonies. Ceremonies. Good. That's a long delay. I have a question. How is my audio, everybody? Is my audio okay? Yes, it's okay for me. Yes, okay. I hear it's good. Sometimes okay. it goes down. Sometimes my audio does go down. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Sergey said he's leaving. Uh, it's too slow today. Um, yeah, and I wonder how the connection is for everybody. Okay, let's keep struggling here. Uh, let me go to Minjung, this word. Um, one. Uh, woman? Woman is one. This is plural. Women. That's right, that's right. So Alberto, I underlined this. That means you had a little bit of a problem too. Uh, women, actually the pronunciation is I-I. W-I-M-I-N. Women. 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 Very good. So singular, woman. Woman, woman, plural, women, 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 okay? And uh, Alberto got this one. It's a committee. I want the flat T. Minjung, can you try it again? You had a bit of a British pronunciation, which was very lovely, but I want the American pronunciation, please. I don't know here. There are so many British here. I don't so care. I... You need to teach them proper American English pronunciation, please. Okay. Sorry. Um, I don't know. The International Olympic Committee. 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 Perfect. Good job. But the essence must be in the word first. Committee. 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 There you go. Committee. Perfect. Perfect. This was Miguel. Also new at the games, men's and yes. women's slope style. Also new at the games, men's and women's slope style. Perfecto. Then I go to hi. Oh. This is high end, uh, Alberto. Is it the industry or the industry? The. The industry. And it's the industry. Industry. The industry. industry. The industry. The industry. The industry. No, no, no. Industry. Industry. No! In! 
In the street. Okay. In the street. <laughs> One more time, Hyde. In. Okay. In. The street. The street. The street. The street. This. Ah, the. The street. The street. Industry. Industry. Good. The industry. The industry. Sounds much better. A lot of new young riders coming into the industry. A lot of new young riders coming into the industry. Sounds much better, Hi. Much better. Keep practicing, okay? Okay. Now remember, Hi, when it's an adjective, we do say industrial. Oh, okay. Industrial. That's right. That's right. So industry, industrial. Industry, industrial. Sounds much better. Keep practicing though, okay? Okay. Good. Uh, with the Olympics now being an event. With the Olympics now being an event. Okay, that sounded much better. And is it the Olympics or the Olympics? The Olympics. Good. And connect the sounds, Hi. And I actually, I think Alberto had a little bit of a miss there, too. Uh, I want you guys to connect these sounds by the yo. It's a yo, yo, yo. The Olympics. With the Olympics. With the Olympics. Sounds good. And the next one, another new Olympic sport. Another new Olympic sport. And connected. New Olympic. New Olympic. Uh, new Olympic. Perfect. Another new Olympic sport. Another new Olympic sport. Perfect. Hi. Excellent job. That was perfect. And this was Fabio. The whole thing full circle is amazing. The whole thing full circle is amazing. Perfect, perfect. And Barbara? Okay, actually, Barbara, this last sentence is a bit confusing because other new team sports include, and now we have A, B, and C, right? Yeah, so, whoops, I missed one here. Uh, A, B, and C. So other new team sports include A, B, and C. Now this is, this is difficult to read, and if you do not read it correctly, it's difficult to understand when somebody says it because A is so long, B is so long, and C is so long. So you have to really be careful and group A together, B together, and C together. Keep them as groups. So if I read it, if I read it, I would say other new team sports include a figure skating team event, a mixed luge relay race, and a biathlon mixed relay. Can you feel the difference, Barbara? Okay. Try it again, please. Other new team sports include a figure skating team event, a mixed luge relay racing, and a biathlon mixed relay. Much better, much better. Now, let's get a couple of words. Mixed luge, now this is actually a T, but we have an S and an L. So we can pretty much cancel it. Mixed luge, mixed luge relay race. A mixed luge relay race. A mixed luge relay race. Good. And this is the accent. Relay. 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 Really? Lay, lay, lay. Okay, and Alberto, you had the same problem here. Uh, uh, both of you got the, the relay. I think you were saying relay, but it's not relay. It's relay. Re relay race. Relay race. Try it again, uh, Barbara. Relay race. Perfect. Alberto? <laughs> Relay race. Relay. Much better. Very good. Very good. Uh, so that was better. And this one too, Barbara. A biathlon mixed relay. 
And once again, you, this is not that important. We have the S and an R. Those are strong sounds. The ED can cancel. A biathlon mixed relay. A biathlon mixed relay. Excellent job. Much, much better. Great job, guys. Uh, and that is it. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Park City, Utah. Questions? Ah, uh, Shane. Yes. Could you tell me again how to connect the two vowels out? New Olympic? Yeah. In this case, hi, uh, this is the vowel, and this is a consonant. So this is an easy one. We just take the W and connect it right into the O. So a new O, new Olympic. New Olympic. That's right. New Olympic, new Olympic. New Olympic, new Olympic. Good. In this case... But how's about the... Right. The, the not, not, not believe. Okay, so when we have two vowels together, E-O, in this case, E, yeah, it gives you that Y sound, so V-O. The O, the Olympics. The Olympic. There you go. So, when we connect two vowels, we use either a Y sound or a W sound. Okay? Um, so, So, for example, the Olympics. I can't think of an A. What's a long A? I'll just say a uh, uh, long A. Anyway. A E I O E I I U. Um. Okay, this is these are really bad examples. But here we have an E O A I and uh ooh, the U sound, ooh, right? Right. So in this case, the Olympics, what vowel connects it? Uh, y connect to O. That's right, the I Y. So go Olympics, I what sound connects it? Uh, w. That's right. the hell? I can't see anything. Uh, the stay Olympics, obviously what they connects it? Y. That's right. High Olympics, what connects it? I, Y. That's right. And the U Olympics, what connects it? Y. Why? That's right. So the W comes with the O, and everything else comes with the Y. So the Olympics, Go Olympics, Stay Olympics, High Olympics, U Olympics, U up. No, actually, this is a W. Sorry, U uh, U Olympics, U Olympics. Okay. So try it. Hi. The Olympic. Go Olympics, stay Olympics, high Olympics, you Olympics. Great job, great job. Next question. The connection today seems to be kind of bad. I hope that uh, you guys are hearing me okay. Uh, sometimes you guys sound really good. Sometimes it doesn't sound so good. Uh, Shane, would you mind going up, uh, scrolling up, scrolling up to the, you know, where uh, to the three blocks are, you know, where explain it, where explaining to us. Uh, um, I don't remember the paragraph exactly. What were I talking about? Uh, yes, you know that paragraph that actually, if you don't read it properly, it it, it turns confusing. Ah, uh, the ABC. Okay, that's at the end. Yes. The ABC. The ABC. Okay. 
All right. I actually, I actually kind of get confused sometimes. With the word it's simple. The word other, a t h u e r, other. I don't know if if I'm doing it, if I'm getting it right by saying other or just other. Yeah, the American pronunciation is a short U. Uh, it might change in other areas, but most Americans say other, other, other new team sports. Other. That's the typical American pronunciation, yeah. But in New York, they do say other, other. So it uh, kind of depends on where you are in America. My pronunciation, natural pronunciation is other, other. Uh, and the word uh, that would uh, F I G U R E as well. In that case, is figure or figure? It's actually figure. Figure. Keep that Y. Figure. Figure. Yeah, a figure skating team event. Figure. Figure. However, however, when when you say, uh, I need to figure that out. You don't say figure, right? Okay, once again, the perfect pronunciation in that situation is figure two, okay? But many Americans uh -huh. do kind of drop that Y sound. Mm -hmm. So the perfect pronunciation, I need to figure that out. I need to figure that out. But sometimes if we say it fast, I need to figure that out, figure that out. It's like F-I-G-G-E-R. It can even sound like that, figure, yeah. figure, figure that out. Mm -hmm. Good point. Never thought about that. So, so whether it's uh, whether it's a, a noun or a verb, the proper pronunciation sh should always be figure. 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 But like you said, when we say it fast, it sounds like figure. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You gotta figure that. Out. Yeah. I agree. I never thought about that. I have to remember this. Yeah, because yeah, you know, you know that I listen to the radio uh, on a regular basis, and uh, so those are pretty much American radio talk shows. Yeah, figureism, that really word. common word in America. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, and it's I, I think that the sound in my head is figure. Yeah, well, once, what's interesting is, once again, I never really thought about the pronunciation of that word, but every time you've used it, it always sounds fine, which means that you are saying it properly. Even if you're not saying figure, you're saying it the typical American mm -hmm. style of figure, figure, figure. Mm -hmm. Great. No other questions? You guys are too nice. Barb and I, we are slow at this time, uh, more than the connection. <laughs> Fabio, you are have you guys have a fantastic weekend. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Uh, you still have Sunday, and uh, I'll see you next week. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. That's right. It's late. It's late where they are. Utah is kind of Utah borders uh, Nevada, right? Or no, let me see. We're right next to we're no. yeah where I am. It's right next to uh, Utah. I'll show you the outside. The sun has just set. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you can't see it very well. Just I just can see it. Oh, Ooh. oh, it's very nice. Yeah, it's a nice day. Uh, wow. Is the sea outside? No, those are mountains. <laughs> I got a stir. So you live in the mountain. I live in the desert. Desert. Wow. <laughs> Do you live your parents? Uh, near my parents, very near. Mm, it's beautiful. 
Uh, it's the desert. What's Actually, the weather like there? Borders. What's that, Miguel? And the north border is uh, Colorado? No, no, no. Uh, uh, to, on the, the north? Uh, no. Hold on a second. Let's no. read this damn thing. Let me see. Uh, oh, no, car, no, Colorado. I'll, sh I'll pull up the map. Hold on a second. No. Let's check out the map here. I, 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 was, I was checking that out the other day. So. Miguel, you sound very tired today. Are you okay? Yeah, well, I had a I had a long day. <laughs> Why? Because uh, it, it started at ten and at ten a.m. and it finished at ten at ten p.m. Oh my God, that's a long day. That's terrible. All right, so this is this is the bad. This is where I am. In the north, I have Oregon and Idaho, and I've got Utah and Arizona yeah. to the east. And to the south, a little bit oh, of Arizona, yeah. lots of California, and to the west, California, too. Adia, adia. And I'm very yeah, much yeah. So, in the so. desert. You can see it's all brown where I live. Terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. where I live. Where? The desert? Right here. I live, oh. I live like where you do. <laughs> okay. No, not that bad, not that bad. But this is... If you What's know, the population there? Three. Three people? <laughs> yep, the population is three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what it looks like near my house. Wow. I love it. Well, ain't nothing to see. But if you like the mountains... There's nothing. Yeah, if you like the mountains and the sky, it's nice. I love it. I love it. Oh, here's it's the time. farm. <clears throat> yeah, Easy Rider. Wow. That reminds me of Easy Rider. Yeah, Easy Rider, that's right, yeah. Born oh, this is a watch. solar plant, a solar power plant. Mm. Oh, whoa. Those are... There you go. Solar panels, something? Yeah, solar power plant. Huh. But uh, is there any coffee shops, a Starbucks coffee shop for you near your home? Actually, hi, I was teasing. I'll, I'll show you again. If it, I don't know if you can see. Hold on a second. So you still using freezing coffee? Uh, behind uh, how, behind yeah. the building that you see, that uh, is a Starbucks. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I, I have a Starbucks very close to my house. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, driving you. by. Yeah. Americans. So. Americans driving by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you are living in the middle of desert, but just to, or, along the desert you live? Yeah, I'll show you exactly. Hold on a second. I'll show you exactly. Very interesting. I live in a place called Henderson, which is right mm -hmm. next to Las Vegas. So this, <laughs> here's, here's oh. Las Vegas. Can you see it? This is Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and Henderson is right down here, and I live right here. So I live very much in a city. My house is right here. So if we go down to the street level, my apartment is, which one is it? Uh, it's right over here. My apartment is right over here, and right behind this store is a Starbucks. Mm. So it's it's very uh, very modern. However, I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. If you go out just a little bit, and I'll show you in just a second here. If we go out just a little bit this way, I think it's you see we got the desert mm -hmm. and the mountains. 
and it's it's pretty nice. You ready for the summer? Um, Alberto, the summer's gonna be terrible. Yeah. You're gonna feel exactly what we are feeling now here. I know it's gonna be like the outback. <laughs> Not the steakhouse. So now the weather is fine. Alberto, what's the temperature? 42, now? 43. <gasps> 42, 43? 39 degrees. Celsius degrees. That's horrible. Here in Abu Dhabi, now, it goes up to 55 in summer, last... I heard. Oh no! 55? Well, we, we, yeah. it was about 43, 40, 44. Oh my And God. also humid, oh. because there is a sea, oh. you know? Oh, that's yeah. just horrible. And, and you let Juan play outside, play tennis in this heat? No, we have to be in changing, the, changing the schedule at about 7 p.m. 8 p.m. or early in the morning, it depends. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's good. Don't, yeah. Maybe dangerous for you. Give him lots of water, lots of Gatorade. Well, as, far as, <laughs> well, as far as I know, in Las Vegas, in the hottest place in the United States. Actually, summer. you know what? Uh, you're almost right. Right next to where I live, we have what they call Death Valley. Have you ever heard of Death Valley? <laughs> no, I'm serious. They call it Death Valley. Where? Mm. Oh, here it is. Death Valley National Park. Can you? I don't know if you can see it, but this is Death Valley, and they call it Death Valley because it's the hottest place in America, and it's very close to my home. <laughs> <laughs> Brace yourself. Yeah, it's about two two hundred. <laughs> It's about 200 kilometers, so I can cook myself there. <laughs> hey, Shane, because you, I just wonder, because you don't like, you know, steamy hot summer, but why are you moving there? Oh, oh Jung, I hate the hot summer, but my mom and dad have retired here, so I ah. want to be by them. Mom and dad win. You you also said that okay. in the cold cold weather you work more productive. That's right. Hi, if yeah, it's George. Cold weather, I'm happy. I want to be up in Canada. I want to be here. And also your your skin is very Costanza. sensitive. That's right, Shane Costanza. <laughs> and Alaska's waiting for you. Alaska's <laughs> waiting for you. I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> We should send, send some sunblock. Oh, I got some height. My mother gave me some. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> terrible. It's terrible. Now that you, now that you, you mentioned uh, Gatorade, uh, is, is it this? I'm going to write it down. Lucasade. Is that familiar to you? Shane? Lucasade? Lucas no, that's something new. What is that? It's, uh, I think uh, it's uh, you know uh, sports drinks. Okay. It's kind of similar to uh, Gatorade. Lucasade is very uh, popular here in, in the England. UK. I mean, well, at least uh, yeah. Well, yes, uh, as far as I know. Uh, well, he looks uh, like a we Charles that, Darwin uh, you know, monkey man. Yeah, <laughs> with scary eyes. Yeah, he looks like a gorilla. <laughs> it's the gorilla yeah, yeah. sports drink. Yeah, that's the gorilla that the heat on Robin Williams. And there you go. There you go. Ah, okay. uh, how was the name? Uh, he looks the uh, same. Coco. Coco. Yeah. They look the same. They look dead. They're like like zombies. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, this is that, the same that, that girl might might you in the Yeah. In your throat. <laughs> yeah. I'm never gonna like drink Lucasade. 
Yeah, never. Yes. Because you might you might get you might get an English accent. What's that, Alberto? <laughs> Have you heard anything from any Denver fans this week? <laughs> Have I heard anything from who? Many Denver, Colorado fans, Broncos fans. <laughs> oh, you know what? That was such a terrible game. Uh, after the game, Why all of the Denver fans, they just went like this, and they left. <laughs> <laughs> they are in hiding mode now. Yeah, yeah they need to hide one for week the next ago, four months. One week, one week ago, my Facebook was orange and blue. <laughs> yeah. That was really a horrible game. That was that was embarrassing for me. And I'm not a Denver fan, but I was embarrassed. <laughs> oh man. It was a blowout. Yes, it was a blowout. It was total destruction. We're talking about the Super Bowl. Height and uh, Min. The American football game was just a horrible championship game. <laughs> it was really bad. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take a short break. I've got another hangout in 30 minutes, uh, but I'm so <laughs> glad that you joined me. I don't know if the connection was that good. And seeing Zulma and Alberto together, your wife is not hitting you. <laughs> <laughs> you liar. You liar, you. Alberto, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to say hi. Thank you very much. And uh, Miguel, as always, thank you. I'll talk to you during the, the week, Miguel. Min Jung, you have a fantastic uh, week, and, you. and you're, you're a tough woman getting up so early in the morning. I respect that. And I hope that you have a great time with Zen, okay? And uh, yeah. Zulma and Alberto, it's great seeing you guys together. And uh, uh, once again, Alberto, you. Yeah. If, you got, if you want, uh, one of you can come to the next Hangout, too. That's fine with me. Yeah, I can get with her, but you have to ask her to show her her hands for the whole sessions, okay? <laughs> okay, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, you guys. Uh, bye. Thank you bye -bye. so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>